video we're going to remove some concrete anchors. These are used widely in industry to fix down machines and conveyors and racking and things like that etc. They are a very quick way of fixing to a solid concrete floor. The problem is that a lot of times something will be fixed and you'll remove that item and you're left with that sticking out of the floor. I did do a video on how to install these quite a long time ago and in that video I actually explained that if you drill the hole deep enough once you've removed the item that you are fixing you can simply remove the nut and you can drive that down into the concrete then it's out of the way. A big problem with these is that if you remove the item that they are fixing you are left with the stud sticking up out of the ground. That poses a tripping hazard. First of all we're going to use this which is a small diamond core drill and that will simply go into an electric drill. I'm not sure how much I paid for this, it wasn't expensive. I will put the price on the screen. That is actually a 16 millimeter diameter. The inside diameter is just over 10 mil, so that will work for extracting a short concrete anchor. You can get longer ones like this, and the majority of that is the threaded part. So you may need to remove that. So what you could do is cut that off and then remove that using a short core. Alternatively, you can get longer core drill bits like that but they are obviously more expensive. So this is the first one that we're going to remove. If you want to you can use a large crowbar like that, you can simply put that under there and you could actually leave that out but it will leave a, a crater that needs filling in so it's not ideal doing that. If you can't pull it out you just need a longer crowbar. Eventually they will pull out in most substrates. We're not going to do that. If you're wondering why you just can't leave that sticking out the ground it's because it is a very bad tripping hazard and in the past people have tripped over those and been injured. So we're just going to remove the nuts on the washer. So the first thing we're going to try is knocking it in because we don't know how deep the hole is. And as you can hear that's pretty solid so that's not going to knock in there. So I'm now going to take the drill with the diamond core bit in it. You can also use water if you need to keep the dust down. As you can see that has been removed in seconds. And the beauty of this is we've just got a small hole there that we need to fill. And we can fill that very easily indeed. Can just mix up some mortar. We could fill that using either a pointing gun or uh, an empty silicone tube. I'll put a link to a video on how to do that. So that is a very easy way of removing them. Often the easier thing to do is just cut that off with a slitting disc and then that way nobody can actually trip over it. But you might need to reposition something. So if you need to move that say five mil to one side you can't do it with that stud in so that is where you need the diamond core drill to actually remove it. You can then fill the hole and then you can drill a new hole. With this one we'll do the same again, we'll check that it's in as far as it'll go. It won't go in any further than that. So we're going to put a nut on this one and then we're going to pull it up as far as it'll go. And then we're going to use a cordless angle grinder with a one millimeter thick slitting disc. Obviously you need to wear safety glasses when you do this. And we're just going to slit that off so that it's level. Yeah. 
So I've cut that off as close as I can to the surface. I'm just going to take something now. I'm just going to knock that in. You can see that that has gone below the surface. If you wanted to, you could fill that with a bit of mortar or something, but you can guarantee that nobody is going to trip over that and injure themselves. So that's a couple of ways to remove concrete anchors.